And I got two more things I want to show you here. Um, right here on the top, uh, next to this quick for the guide, I want to show you this here. This is our MIDI. I can take a MIDI file of this pattern. And I can also take an audio file of this pattern. Let's play the pattern back. Oh yeah, that's it. Stop that. Okay, now this is kind of big. Let me go back over here and I want to get a better view. Let's get out of this first of all. Okay, we're shrinking back down. Of course, and now I'm in the small view. Perfect. So I got this pattern and I'm going to grab this first and I grab that and you see I pull it. Whoa, I'm just pulling it. I'm holding it down. I clicked on it. I'm holding it down. I'm dragging it out right here to my desktop. Whoa, look at that. Wave file. Hot wave file. See, that's a wave file. So this is it right here. This is the wave file. I can play this back as a wave file. I can click on how I want to open it and how I want to play this back, of course. I've got a multitude of ways here to play it back, but I don't want to use iTunes. But I want to play it back through something else. So let's find out what we want to use here today. And I think we're going to use something very simple. QuickTime Player. And here's QuickTime. We'll play it back. Whoa. That's it. That's it. So I can take an audio file directly from the software, put it on my computer, play it back. That's pretty simple. Okay, you saw that. I can also play it from here. It's a wave file. Now, I'll go here and I can grab this out. This is the pattern, and this will be a MIDI file. That's a MIDI file. Now, I can import that into an instrument or pull, let's say, into Pro Tools or into Logic and select the sounds I want to use for that MIDI file. That's pretty cool. Going back to full screen again, and here we have our sounds right here. I can click here or click here, I can play a sound. But if I click here, I don't. I mute that sound. So if I play back the pattern, and I click here, I click there, I click here, I can take stuff in and out. Whoa, back with the drum, back with this, and back with that. Let's stop that. That's kind of cool. So, be aware of that. So you click here, you can hear something. Click here on the name, I can hear it back. You know something? If I turn this little speaker icon off and click on that, now it's grayed out, and I click here, we hear nothing. See that? We stop hearing when we click on a name. Now also, turn this back on. I click here, we get a facsimile of the pads. I can go right here. These are all where the pad sounds would be on the pads on my machine whether a micro, a machine, or a studio. But if I click here, we hear nothing. So be aware of that if you want to hear the pads on your software, or if you want to see the names and play them back, this controls that.